Hello dear students, welcome to Current Maths Academy. Today in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important question which is asked in N. Papson 2075. Dear students, in question number 24, the question is, in the given figure, A, B, C, D is a cyclic correlator. In the given figure, A, B, C, D is a, A, B, C, D is a cyclic correlator. B, C is produced B, C. The side BC is produced to E. The side BC is produced so that AB is equal to CE. So that AB is equal to CE. If BD is the bisector of angle ABC. If BD is the bisector of angle ABC. Prove that triangle DBE is an isolated triangle. Prove that triangle DBE is an isolated triangle. So dear students, let's do the solution. Dear students, we are given that ABCD is a cyclic correlator. Dear students, BC is produced so that AB is equal to C. We are given that AB is equal to C. To prove triangle DBE is an isolated triangle. We have to prove that DBE is an isolated triangle. Triangle DBE is an isosceles triangle. Dear students, in order to show triangle DBE, triangle DBE is an isosceles triangle, we'll show triangle ABD and triangle CDE concurrent. Dear students, after showing triangle ABD and triangle CDE concurrent, we can easily write side BD is equal to side D. Corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Then dear students, if any, if any two sides of a triangle are equal, then the triangle is an isolated triangle. So dear students, our aim is to show the side BD is equal to side D, which we can show by showing two triangles ABD and triangle CD congruent. Dear students, now in the statement number one, let us write angle ABD is called angle CBD. Let us write angle ABD is called angle CBD. The reason is BD is the bisector bisector of angle ABC. Dear students, we are given that BD is the bisector of angle ABC. So dear students, now if angle a, B, D and C, B, D are equal, then they will subtain equal arcs, equal angles at the circumference, subtain equal arcs. So, dear students, angle A, B, D is subtained by arc A, D and angle, angle C, B, D, angle C, B, D is subtained by arc C, D. Since angle A, B, D and C, B, D are equal, so they will subtain equal arcs. So let's write on arc AD is called arc CD. In this statement number 2, we can write arc AD is equal to arc CD. Dear students, we can write arc AD is equal to arc CD because equal angles at the circumference, equal angles at the circumference subtain equal arcs. So this is from statement number 1, equal angles equal angles at the circumference equal angles at the circumference circumference subtend subtend equal angles now in this statement number 3 in this statement number 3 we can write chord AD is equal to chord AD is equal to chord Called CD. Simply we can write AD is equal to CD also. This is from statement number 2. This means equal arcs cut of equal curves. So we can write from statement number 2. Now in the statement number 4. In the statement number 4. Let's write down angle DCE is equal to angle BAD or we can say DAB because 
x triangle of a quadrilateral ABCD is a cyclic word. So we can take x triangle of a cyclic word equal to its inter opposite angle. So let's write on angle BAD is called angle DCE. Angle BAD. In this statement of four, we can write angle BAD. Angle BAD is equal to angle DCE. Or we can say angle DCE is called angle BAD. Extra angle is equal to its inter opposite angle. So let's write on angle DC is equal to angle DCE is equal to angle DCE is equal to angle BAD. Angle DCE is equal to angle BAD. The reason is extra angle of a cyclic word. Extra angle of a cyclic word is equal to the reason is exterior angle cyclic word is equal to is equal to its inter opposite angle its so dear students we can easily show two triangles ABD and triangle DC congruent by side angle and side fact so already the side AB and side C are equal given equal and we have shown the side AD is called DC and we have extra angle is equal to its inter opposite angle so by using side angle side side angle side fact we'll get two triangles congruent so in triangle ABD and triangle CDE now in triangles in triangles ABD ABD and C, D, E. To show the two triangles A, B, D and triangle D, C, E congruent. First, let us take side A, B is equal to side C, e, which is given. Then, after taking side A, B is equal to side C, let us take angle B, A, D is equal to angle D, C, E. Angle B, A, D is equal to angle DC angle BAD is called angle DC so this is from statement number 4 in this statement number 4 already we have shown angle BAD is called angle DC so this is from statement number 4 now in number 3 we can write AD is called to we can write AD is called to DC AD is called to DC so in this statement number 3 we can write AD is called DC, which already we have shown in the statement number 3, from state number 3. So, dear students, in statement number 6, we will get triangle ABD. Triangle ABD congruent to triangle CD by side angle side, SS fact, SS fact of congruency test of triangles. Now, in number 7, Dear students, in the statement number 7, now we can write BD is equal to D. BD is equal to D. Corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Dear students, in the statement number 8, since BD is equal to D, since two sides of triangle BDE we have shown equal, we can write triangle BDE is an isolated triangle. Now we can write triangle BDE is an isolated triangle. Triangle BDE. Triangle BDE is an isolated triangle. We can write triangle BDE is an ISOS, CELS, isolated triangle. So, dear students, before we end this video, let us discuss the process we have followed to get the solution of the given question number 24, which is from our theorem of circle. Dear students, in the given figure, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. We are given that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. BC is produced to E so that side AB is equal to side C. And we are given that BD is the bisector of angle ABC. And now we have to prove that. We have to prove that triangle DB is an isolated triangle. So, dear students, in order to prove triangle BDE, is an isolated triangle will show triangle ABD and triangle CDE congruent. So, dear students, we can show these two triangles congruent by SAS fact. 
side AB is equal to side C is already given. Angle BAD we can take equal to angle DC because extra angle of cyclic quad is equal to its interval opposite angle. And again we can take side AD is equal to side DC because BD is the bisector of angle ABC so we can take angle ABD is equal to angle CBD. And if two angles at the surface are equal, then they obtain equal arcs. Since angle BAD is equal to angle DBC, so they will obtain equal arcs because equal angles at the surface obtain equal arcs. Distance we can write arc AD is equal to arc CD. And if two arcs are equal, then we can write equal as cut of equal course that means we can write ad is equal to dc so this means first we have shown ad is equal to dc called ab is equal to called cd this means then angle dce and angle bad we can use the relation of extra angle of cyclic quad equal to a single post angle we have taken triangle abd and triangle dc and we have shown congruent in triangle abd and in triangle cd we have taken AB is equal to C. We have taken AB is equal to C, which is already given. Then we have taken angle BAD is equal to DC. We have taken angle BAD is equal to DC. Extra angle is equal to its interval opposite angle. Then we have taken AD is equal to DC, which already we have shown in this statement number three. So by SS fact, we have shown two triangles congruent. If two triangles are congruent, then we can take corresponding size of congruent triangles equal. So this means after seeing two triangles congruent, we have got BD is equal to D. BD is equal to, we have got BD, BD is equal to D, corresponding size of congruent triangles. If two sides of a triangle are equal, then we can say that the triangle is an isolated triangle. Dear students, I hope that you have understood the solution of quiz number 24. So thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And again, we'll meet in the next video with the new content. Till then, bye. Have a nice day. Thank you.